it seems there's been a lot of discussion lately about comfort animals. You know what these are? If you don't know what comfort animals are, they are animals that provide emotional support to people who are dealing with anxiety. It's like medical marijuana on a leash. <laughs> Right, that's, how, that's what it is. Now, how it works is you get a certificate from your therapist and then you are allowed to take your animal anywhere, everywhere, even on an airplane, right? Now, I understand that bringing a comfort dog on a flight might help you relax, but I'm not sure if it will help your anxiety when you realise that everyone else on the plane hates you. <laughs> Right? And it's not just dogs, because a few months ago, a woman on a US Airways flight was famously kicked off the plane when her emotional support pig... <laughs> ..refused to stop squealing and defecated in the cabin. <laughs> yeah, true story. I mean, yeah, honestly. Pigs can fly? <laughs> like, I... Do you know... Because if pigs can fly, I'd better call Sarah Kaufman from 11th grade, <laughs> because it looks like I'm taking her to prom after all. <laughs> yeah, ready, Sarah? <laughs> I mean, the truth is, they already make a pig that comforts you. It's called bacon. <laughs> right? But, <laughs> Like bacon fat in <laughs> Comfort animals started as a good idea, but it's clearly spiralling out of control, because I don't know if you saw this, but there was a huge piece in, this, uh, in Sunday's New York Times about the growing phenomenon of comfort animals at college. Universities are receiving requests for guinea pigs, ferrets, lizards, and some of these students are even bringing tarantulas as comfort animals. I know. Now, here's a rule that we should all follow. You can't have a comfort animal that is also a Halloween decoration. <laughs> we can agree on that, right, guys? Can't we? <laughs> but where's this going to end? Well, I'll tell you, it never ends, because eventually you're going to need a comfort hawk to feel at ease around your roommate's comfort tarantula, <laughs> then someone else needs a comfort hyena to feel OK around your comfort hawk. It's the comfort circle of life. <laughs> which is Disney's less successful franchise. <laughs> Not quite as popular, but still a good movie. Now, it's very hard, and I understand that anxiety is a terrible thing, but you're in college. Go to a party, make friends, and when you do feel anxiety, just do what the rest of us did. Call your parents, tell them everything's going great, even though you're holding back tears because you secretly miss home, hang up, cry, and then masturbate before your roommate gets home. <laughs> Which is much easier to do when you don't have a pig in the corner judging you. I speak from experience on that.